my people. I'm the Douglas Carter back on the scene doing my thing, and I just want to say I appreciate you and the work that you do. Real quick, uh, got some news for y'all. I'm going to chop it up for a second. Um, it's not really great news for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, our free agent moves thus far have been pretty solid. Um, comes out that the um, Carolina Kitty Cats um, signed a one-year deal with DJ Chark. Um, this was probably the last really speedy receiver that was available in free agency. Um, I was hoping maybe the Falcons would have picked him up or Miko Hardman, but um, we're not getting either one of them. Now, DJ Chark, you know, he's 6'4", and he ran like a 4'3", um, so I think he could have fit in nicely, but the uh, Kitty Cats got him. So the Kitty Cats is making moves, and uh, we gotta we gotta stay up. You know, um, I know I was talking about. Um, I never really been a big fan of Calais Campbell, but I would definitely welcome to the Atlanta Falcons um, a veteran, experienced, and still able to produ still able to produce, even though he's thirty six and will be thirty seven this year. Um, my hopes is not really high on getting Calais Campbell because I see he has um, visits scheduled with the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets uh, next week. And he also had tweeted, you know, that he wants to be playing in the Super Bowl for a Super Bowl contender. And we know our Atlanta Falcons ain't quite there yet. So, I mean, I don't know what the Falcons could do to you know, get him to come to Atlanta, but I mean, he, you could probably see him with the Buffalo Bills. Um, also, DeAndre Hopkins, that whole trade thing. Yeah, I see the Falcons was interested in it, but I mean, he's 31 and, uh, you know, he's an amazing wide receiver. He has been in this league for a long time, but I don't think he really fits in with the Atlanta Falcons, and I don't think they're going to try to give up uh, too much to get him or try to pay him uh, too much. So I don't, I don't see DeAndre Hopkins coming to the Falcons. Um, I could be wrong on both of these. Calais Campbell and D Hop could come to the Falcons, but I don't see it happening, y'all. So I'm just putting it out there. This is my opinion on on those two free agents, or you know trades with DeAndre Hopkins. He's not a free agent. He just wants to trade. Um, so if I wanted us to add a, a speed guy, that's why I wanted McCall Hardman or, or Shark. Um, we don't really have that speed guy. OZ was supposed to be our speed guy, but he, he really ain't that fast. Um, I think he runs like a four, four, nine, you know, um, it's still fast, but you know you want you want a burner. Um, there are two guys in the draft that, that okay maybe three okay Quentin Johnson. Um, I know a lot of people would be upset if the Falcons took him with the number eight pick, the wide receiver out of TCU, but he's like almost six four. He's like two hundred and twelve pounds, and they say that he runs a four three. But he didn't run at the Combine. He said he's going to do it at his pro day, which is March 30th, coming up. So we'll see about that 4-3 speed, if he has it or if he doesn't. Um, Trey Palmer, wide receiver we could maybe get in the third or fourth round, I believe. Um, he ran a 4-3 at the Combine. I think it was like a 4-3-3 or a 4-3-5 or 6, but still blazing speed. Um, he's about six one, about like a, a buck eighty, between a buck eighty and buck ninety. So he's not the biggest dude, but he's not super small. So Trey Palmer, keep that name in mind if we're trying to add a speedster in the draft uh, to kind of take top off of other defenses. You know, um, there is another small wide receiver out of TCU. Probably be able to get him in like the seventh round. 
Darius Davis. He run like a 437. And I watched some tape on him, and he's tiny. He's like 5'8, like 170. So I don't know if he'll hold up at the NFL level, but you got to catch him to hit him first. And he's really good. I noticed on his tape, he's good at um, not taking big hits, real shifty, real fast, would be deadly in the kick return or punt game. Because once he hits the sideline or hits a seam, he's gone, man. You could tell he got that speed. So those are two names um, that we might keep a lookout for in the draft. Um, Trey Palmer and uh, Darius Davis, those are our four, three speed guys. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I want to touch on, touch on, because I know we needed a wide receiver with some speed. I mean, we added Matt Collins, but he's not a speed guy. He's like a, a four, five, four, six um in the 40 you know which is still fast but you want that you want that blister and speed at least i do we got the tall big body wide receivers that will put in the dirty work and, and that got good hands i just need somebody that could burn you know what i'm saying um also if we did get a corner later in the draft like say we go pass rush at um eight and, and we kind of slide back a little bit. DJ Turner, corner out of Michigan. He's a blazer too. I mean, he has like 4.26 at the combine in his 40 yard dash. That's under 4.3 speed, man. It don't get much faster than that, y'all. Um, and as far as the Jalen Carter thing, I've seen reports and stuff saying that, you know, if he, he failed to eight, that the Falcons would pass on him. And I could see them passing on him. Um, and another reason why I don't think we're really going to uh, try to get DeAndre Hopkins is because I can't remember the last time since Arthur Blank's been here um, where the Falcons took somebody who had some kind of, like, character issues. Um, so... I don't think they'll take Jalen Carter, even if he falls at eight, which a lot of people want him, whether he um, has character issues or not. And, and we don't really know if he does. He made, he made some mistakes. He's young. He's growing. And, and, you know, people learn from their mistakes and get better. And this might have been this, that thing that he needed to, like, cut all the nonsense out and focus. Um, but we didn't see him do that at his pro day. But he's still going through it, I'm sure. But I don't know if our organization is really going to take chances on guys like that. And, you know, D-Hop, he got, you know, popped for some PED. And I understand that um, performance-enhancing drugs or whatever, like some people take supplements to, to help their workouts and stuff like that, and they might overlook a product that's on the ban list or something. But um, there was some issues, I remember, kind of with uh, the way he kind of, let his life, maybe some character issues there um, with him. So I don't really know if they'd really be too interested. And I say this, and then I and I pause because we did try to get Deshaun Watson, and he definitely has some issues going on and, and still does and probably still will for a while. So I'm um, like, hmm, are, are, are we going to, like, you can't say – you know, you don't, you, you can't say you want players with good character, you know, good makeup and ethos and stuff. And then when it comes to somebody else, you kind of don't look at the character issues. Could be the case with Jalen Carter. They might think he's such a good talent. They don't really look at the issues. But if some, but if it's somebody who's like on that fringe of a superstar and just like a solid player, then they really look at the character and be like, well, we're not going to take a chance, but if it's a superstar, we might. So I don't know, man. It's it's a fine line. It's a thin line. And you know, everything happens for a reason in my eyes. So I could see us taking Christian Gonzalez or, or Witherspoon at eight, lock up that corner position. Or if Tyree Wilson is there, we could take him at eight. Um, you know, I don't see Will Anderson falling there, but if he did, you would definitely take him at eight. And Jalen Carter is a question mark. I could see the Falcons taking Quentin Johnson at eight. If he runs 4-3 speed and he's like 6-4, 2-12, they might take him at eight. 
and and get a corner later. They might get a corner at eight and uh, get a defensive um, rusher later because there are some good ones and, and a receiver in the later round and, you know, do it that way. But, you know, we'll see, man. Let's see if uh, we get any more uh, nice free agent pieces to work with. And this video, like I end all my videos, hey, before I end the video, throw me a comment. Um, tell me what you think. Tell me if there's some players out there that you're interested in in free agency that uh, are still available and, and we could use. Tell me who you think are maybe some steals in the draft or any players you got in mind in the draft. And I'll be sure to get back to you and chop it up with you. Um, like, subscribe, share if you can. If not, that's cool. Um, appreciate all my subscribers. And this video, like I end all my videos, thank God works. And I hope you have a blessed rest of your day or night. One.